Hello, greetings. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. like to add your details to the meeting agenda and notes. I'll share those in the chat window in Zoom. Share the link. And we'll get started in just a couple of minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, it looks like this is the crew that we have. Um, I'm Taylor. I'm working with uh, 
on the cross cloud CI project um, with Denver, who's on, hey Denver, and hey. Lucina. I recognize a, a few of y'all. Uh, hey Melvin, and see Ed, and then it looks like Matt Farina. Uh, you're here with us from Samsung. Um, figured we'd do a quick update on the cross cloud uh, CI project and um, say where we're going. And then if anyone else has any um, updates, I don't see anything in the agenda notes, you can add them to the doc that Lucina shared um, and feel free on the CNCFCI. Okay, um, I'm going to try to share my screen here. Yeah. Let me know if that's visible for y'all. Looks good. Looks good. Cool. So, um, been a lot happening through um, from up through KubeCon, and um, I know at least some of y'all were there. And what we've been doing, um, pushing forward from there. So let's see. <clears throat> um, we a lot of uh, what we were doing this past year was getting the first version um, of the. CI system and the dashboard um, out. The CI system's actually on uh, re release two and the dashboard is, um, will be releasing a public release of V10 um, this January. And we have been gathering lots of feedback and making adjustments as we're going along um, from up to KubeCon and past. So our goals uh, for January are to release uh, V10 of the dashboard. So this is the overall um, cross cloud CI. And oops. for those who haven't seen it yet, um, this we now have a cross cloud CI project. So a lot of these were repos uh, split out under CNCF. Um, we've now set things up more like other projects, like uh, the Kubernetes, Prometheus, everything else. So the different repos, including the dashboard back end or out here, um, front end, the different configuration for how these work within um, the CI system on for the various projects, CNCF projects. So that's out there. <laughs> The CI system itself um, is, we're getting ready for another release. And this is where we've split out everything for the build system, provisioning, and app deployment, the different parts, and trying to make it configurable. And uh, this will tie in with uh, something we're doing listed here as well. We're trying to um, target ONAP is one of the main projects integrations um, for the cross cloud system. And that's going to be using their builds. Uh, so rather than using builds within the cross cloud, we'll be pulling artifacts from the ONAP build system. And then we'll continue with provisioning Kubernetes on the different clouds uh, as we're doing. And then we'll be deploying using the Helm charts and everything else that ONAP has with uh, some adjustments working with them to be able to do app deployments. So we've been building the system out to support this for each one of the parts to be independent so the integrations can work with other systems. And we're excited to be working with ONAP. Um, this month, we started on those conversations. Um, Last year, 
first again um, this month. So <clears throat> we added, um, let's see, Blue Mix is going to be forty clouds or AWS Azure GCE GT and packet. Let's go on. Uh, this was part of what I was just pulling over, moving everything over into the project repo. And one of the last items for the, the V10 release is for the current version. What's happening is the dashboard will be doing a build and test the end-to-end -end test on all the active projects at 3 a.m. Eastern. This is part of the uh, goals that we were set earlier in the year. And this is one of the last items here. Once we've split everything off into those build, provision, and app deploy, um, having these run scheduled and being able to use the internal CI system API for doing that. So. We will be continuing those items. Uh, we've taken in some feedback on um, various things, updating security, um, the different timeouts, because the, the system now is composed of many different parts. So there could be um, timeouts in the integration, looking at stuff like working with ONAP, what, what could we see there? and what would we want to catch as far as exceptions and retries and stuff. So these are some of the parts that we um, pulled in in the last few months of the project getting ready for V10. We're also doing um, pretty extensive integration tests and trying to have those as many as possible in as part of V10. Um, and that's in the works. It's uh, I guess several parts on the system. We have the API and then we have the, the front end Vue.js app, which is the, the main um, viewing part for everyone. And that's, um, we're trying to test that as well for the end to end test. Let's see what is next. Um, so, Ed, uh, we have a meeting to, uh, that we're planning with you. Um, as you're aware from last um, last year, we kind of bumped it forward, so planning on doing that. We're going to be uh, doing a status update with Camille later in the month and getting her feedback for current progress. <clears throat> the V1 release, as I had mentioned before, coming. Um, along with that, we'll be updating the README for the various, re read me and facts for the various parts. A lot of feedback from KubeCon that we're rolling in here. Um, updating the read me for the CI system, to be able to show how to get the different parts going and use those independently. Um, updating how to get the, the dashboard and everything up, up and going, what needs to be configured if someone was going to add different projects um, else as well as help allowing the various projects to start working directly with us. Um, during KubeCon, we talked a lot with core DNS folks. Um, so we're gonna be uh, to have help on end-to-end -end tests. And while we're that, how do we do integrations on the CI system? So there'll be a lot of documentation updates and hopefully the get more direct community involvement with um, with the integrations and adding new projects uh, this quarter. And I think that's it. The next thing would go into, I guess, a CI working group meeting. So uh, before looking at that, does anyone have any questions, comments?
Okay. Well, um, does anyone here have any other topics um, outside of the cross cloud or anything else for the uh, CR working group you want to talk about? Is my audio work? Oh, okay. Yes, your audio is working. This is Ed from Hackett. Um, just in terms of um, scheduling and planning, I know that the some of the work that I'm interested in is dependent on a version 2.0 starting. Um, do you have sort of a timeline for when you expect uh, major releases and, and when things are either hoped for or planned. It's not try, not trying to hold you to something. I'm just trying to get a sense for my timeline for uh, putting resources together. Um, so 2.0 of the CI system as far as um, the cloud deployment. So this would be about um, packet. Um, in general, as well as uh, the ARM for packet stuff, I think that we're referring to, that's out. So 2.0 release of CI system actually happened um, uh, before KubeCon. And so that's ready to go. We are, I guess, ready to start looking at how to target ARM as far as uh, for Kubernetes. And then I think a separate topic would be um, deploying the projects themselves, that would kind of be a post, a not to a thing, that'd be a post, maybe like a 3.0 type thing. But we are ready right now. Okay, well when uh, when I look at calendars and get a demo planned, I'll make sure that the enough of the ARM crew here is uh, part of that so we can talk details. Sounds good. Is that something that you're thinking of um, for January as far as schedules? I th think it's January. The only hitch is that uh, we did have some resources diverted to deal with Spectre and Meltdown. Um, so I have to just make sh double check on some people's schedules because some folks who I thought would be available are uh, full busy now. Okay, understood. But but yes, I do expect I do expect that we should do a, a kickoff in January, and I'll I'll make a, I'll send a note to that effect. Okay. How about if we follow up with you on the 15th or 16th next week and, and see how things are going for January? That sounds good to me. Great. Thanks, Ed. Awesome. So um, anyone else have comments or questions? Yeah. Melvin, I know that we talked um, a while back and we were planning on catching up with regard to what you're doing as far as CICD stuff and look at what complements the Cross cloud and the stuff you're working on might have. Um, I don't know what type of time you have, but it'd be good to catch up again. Yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, we can schedule something um, if 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 we need to. Um, we need to do that. Um, we do have. I don't know if you all have seen the email uh, that Fati from OPNFV started regarding um, maybe some folks getting together at, uh, was it Open Networking Summit right before it, I think? Um, yeah. 
yeah, so he's supposed to be um, talking with the Linux Foundation to solidify that and provide an update. So that's probably <clears throat> um, you know a bigger conversation, but we can definitely you know talk more um, specific to what what I'm doing. Sounds good. Yeah. So I'll, I'll send you an email, um, just like a quick update, or I can send it. You know, I don't know if there's a different. Should I send it to a different? Um, address or anything like that, but I can send you one directly. And then we can, you know, go from there to see if it makes sense for us to discuss further before before the the um, if anybody's going to that event, if it happens. Okay. So for, I guess, general public, um, you feel free to send to the CNCFCI public mailing list. Um, we do have a cross cloud CI email that'll hit the whole group. And then there's our, um, our email addresses individual on this uh, shared slide. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll do that. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. The next um, CA working group is on the January 23rd. So, see y'all there. Cool. Thanks, Taylor. Thank you.